I was actually intrigued by the thought of having like getting like fake locks in but that was way before all of this like faux lock movement came about and I, I wanted to actually get some natural looking locks in I was thinking about the idea but then I saw like all these girls popped up with faux locks everywhere and I'm telling you I've not seen many faux locks hairstyles that actually look like the real thing and sometimes when I see those styles I, I used to think like what do people with real locks think about this this must be really offensive is it still recording Oh, yes. Okay. Hey guys, it's me, Desiree Marie, and I'm back here today to do my hair. Woo! I'm really excited. This is something that I've never done at any point on YouTube or off YouTube. I have never curled my hair like I've been locked for about five months now you guys know that if you follow me here on my channel I have been doing weekly uploads weekly updates on my hair since I started my journey so if you didn't get the chance to see those maybe you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe because Yes, my, my hair has been locked almost five months and I have not curled it at all. I mean, the closest to curling my hair that I have done is a loose two-strand twist one evening before putting my lock sack on my head just to preserve my hair for the next morning. I took it out and I had some pretty nice waves, but I have never curled my hair while it was locked. I don't remember the last time I curled my hair, period. Yeah, so this should be really exciting. I am going to be using these old school curlers. I saw this idea on Pinterest and I just had to do it because you guys know that New Year's Eve is here and the New Year's coming and you want to look nice. You want to, I mean, you may not be doing anything at all, but you want to look nice. So here I am with baby starter locks. Um, almost five months um, locked and yeah come with me <clears throat> come with me as I do my hair get ready and hopefully the results are nice I don't want to be embarrassed on camera but if I'm embarrassed you guys are family so hey it's all good y'all not judging me okay all right so let's get started I'm really excited what I will be doing for this hairstyle is um, what I'll be using is a spray bottle, my coconut oil, and the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz, Fee Frizz Free Curl Mousse. I have never used mousse on my hair, and I was actually, this is a funny story, well, I don't know if it's funny. I was actually going to throw this out. Today I visited the thrift store and I brought like a whole big garbage bag full of stuff I don't use in my hair. And this was one of the things I was actually going to throw out until I was told that you can still use it when you <clears throat> when you do your curl uh, your curl hairstyle. So I said, okay, I'll give it a try. So that's what I'm going to do today. And of course on top of those I have a big bag of curlers. Luckily, there's many things, many curlers in there because the worst thing you could do is start doing your hair and then realize that you need more curlers and then you don't have curlers or it's somewhere across your house. <laughs> so yeah, those are the things that I'm going to be using. It's not very complicated. It's simple and it's easy. So let's get started. I'm going to take this old head scarf off and I'm going to begin by moisturizing my hair. Now I'm going to pour some of this coconut oil into my hands 
and get it all in my hair. By the way, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas holiday. I did not get the chance to come in and say so, but I hope you had a wonderful holiday and that you're looking forward to greater things in the new year, because I know I am. So I hope that you are as well. 2017 has a lot in store for a lot of us, but I feel like it will only have, the new year will only change if we are expecting it to change. But if we don't have any expectations, then 2017 will be just like 2016. But if that's what you want, hey, then maybe that's not a bad thing. All right, so I'm going, I didn't even grab any, oh my, I am so unorganized right now. I don't have rubber bands to separate my hair at this very moment, so I'm just going to use these pipe cleaners <laughs> and organize my parts in that way. Oh good, that works. <laughs> So I'm sectioning my hair out, sectioning it off so that I get this space to work with. This is my first time doing this guys. I don't know what I'm doing, but I hope it comes out really nice. All right, I'm going to use some of this mousse. Okay, let's see. Do I do it this way or that way? I'll do it this way. So with these curls, I am taking three locks, getting my mousse putting it on my three locks and then I am wrapping my locks um, in this fashion away from my face and yeah it's pretty easy pretty simple I'm so used to using these curlers because this is what I've always used even while I was um, permed I used these curlers for the longest. Like these curlers remind me of childhood pretty much. <laughs> I want to say a big thank you though to you guys. You guys are so amazing. Like I'm so excited to have met a lot of you beautiful locked sisters and brothers. I'm so grateful that we were able to establish a family here on YouTube. With so much negativity going on, it's great to have a place that you can ensure that negativity does not dwell <laughs> and that it's all about love. It's all about love and community. Wherever we can find that, I believe it, you know, we should embrace it. We should be happy because a lot of the times on YouTube, people compare themselves to others. This is a place of inspiration, YouTube, but it's also a place where people tend to compare themselves to others and Therefore, they struggle. A lot of people struggle with anxiety and feelings of inadequacy this season. I mean, I'm not saying that a lot of YouTubers are comparing themselves and are they are inadequate in that way, but I feel like 
if we are comparing ourselves and give whatever we give ourselves to mostly that is what controls us that's what takes over our mind our thoughts and ultimately becomes depression so guys i said it once before i'll say it again please 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 try your best not to compare yourself to anyone else anyone else embrace who you are and know that god made you as you are you're beautiful you're fearfully and wonderfully made and you are made with a purpose so here's what it looks like so i hope it looks good <laughs> but this shouldn't take long at all so i guess i'll kind of talk you guys ears off i've never done like a random sporadic chat video like this but i think it's due because you guys are wonderful like I, like, like I was saying, you know how you kind of get sidetracked and you don't know what you were getting at? <laughs> yeah, I was saying thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for your support. Thank you for commenting. Thank you. This year I have definitely been more excited to record videos, especially with, the, you know, with my lock journey. That's where I found most of my success here on YouTube and by success I mean community friendships you know those things like that I'm not talking pay which I mean it's a great thing as well to get paid but I'm I'm more excited when I see people comment down below this one is messed up when I see people comment down below it, and you know actually communicating with one another and when I see like the same people it makes my heart happy because it means that you guys are there you're happy to keep watching these videos for so long I was the person that like I mean I'm still a binge YouTube watcher like I love like when I come back home from work I just I turn on my laptop I, I get myself you know settled take a shower, relax. But one of my most favorite things to do in the evening is chill to some YouTube. I've been watching YouTube for so long and it just feels great to be able to jump right in and be a content creator. But not only that, <clears throat> be an encourager. I love to encourage. So however I can, I love it, I'm excited. So yeah, um, this is Christmas Eve, oh no, Christmas, this is, see, I mean this year is going so fast, I can't even keep up. This is New Year's Eve, New, Year, New Year's Eve's Eve, and I'm just getting my hair prepared and together for tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to church, of course, that's what we do every year, but even though I know it's the right thing to do to bring your new year in the right way with God, sometimes I feel a little adventurous and I want to do something fun, not like go hit up some club or something like that, but something different. Like I live in New York, in New York and I've never, never seen the ball drop. People travel from states, countries to come and see the ball drop in, in New York, Times Square. And I have never seen that. And I've lived in New York all of my life. So why have I not seen the ball drop? It's crazy. But I do want to do that one year, even though I know it's crazy congested out in the city around this time. I still want to try it. It's one of those things I just want to say that I, I did and I loved or hated, but it's just great to have experienced something new. And that is how I'm feeling about the new year. The new, this new year, 2017, I want to experience new, new things. Um, I feel like I've seen the same people most, <laughs> most of my life. Um, I've been in the same places and I've done the same things and I kind of want to shake things up a bit. 
and do something different and be adventurous. And with the help of God, I'll be able to do that. So I have to hurry up because this camera looks like it's trying to give out. But yeah, I hope that you all, I'm going to try to get this up on New Year's Eve, but I hope that you all have a safe New Year's Eve and don't do anything silly. <laughs> Avoid stress because you want to keep your locks intact for the new year. Because <laughs> really and truly, I heard that when you when you have stress in your life, your locks are affected. Let's go into the new year with our locks and our edges intact. I already know what I'm going to do though tomorrow. I'm probably going to use my Eco Styler gel around my edges just to lay it, lay it one more time for 2016. One more time I got time. So I was just talking to this camera and didn't realize that it actually shut off on me as I was talking. <laughs> the moment I try to do a chit chat video. But anyways. Um, yeah, I was talking about um, why I locked my hair. I locked my hair because I wanted low, like less manipulation, less stress, less hair, hair manage, you know, hair care management, whatever. And I was actually intrigued by the thought of having, like getting like fake locks in. But that was way before all of this like faux lock movement came about. I, I, I wanted to actually get some natural looking locks in. I was thinking about the idea, but then I saw like all these girls popped up with faux locks everywhere. And I'm telling you, I have not seen many faux locks hairstyles that actually look like the real thing and sometimes when I see those styles I, I used to think like what do people with real locks think about this this must be really offensive <clears throat> but um yeah I thought to myself I wanted to do that but then I saw these girls pop up doing that so I said you know what why don't I just why don't I just do the real thing? Why do I need to resort to the fake and phony method? Why don't I just get this done the right way? Do it for real, for real. Because not, not, not many people are willing to go the permanent route. Everybody wants to do what's temporary and what's easy to them. But I've been thinking about locks for a long time. Since my mom started to put the, you know, install her locks, she's been locked for about five years. So that's when I said, you know what, I'll do it. I've been thinking about it for a while. I love how my hair feels when it's in two strand twists and braids. So why not just go ahead and get it done? My favorite part about being locked is the lock jewelry, I have to say. So yeah, that's pretty much where I got started. So, is it still recording? Oh, yes. Okay. So, yeah, I'm almost done. And I think that's another thing I was saying. I said that I really enjoyed this process of doing my hair right now because it's not taking very long at all. Whereas when I was loose natural, the same job would have taken like two to three hours for me to detangle and all the different details that go into styling hair gee whiz i'm so happy to be locked and i'm excited to get this style together for new years yes even though i'm not doing anything extraordinary i'm so excited to have like my first like styling for my lux. <clears throat> so I'm almost done. I'm just grabbing the last few pieces, making sure there are no stray locks like this one right here. <laughs> all right, so I got all of, wow, I still have loose, loose things going on here.
what I'm going to do with this hairstyle is keep it in all day tomorrow. Tomorrow Saturday, New Year's Eve. I'm going to keep it in all day and then I'm going to take it out in the evening right before going to church. Of course I'm going to come on camera, show you guys the end result and yeah. So this hairstyle is staying in for about 12 hours. About 12 hours. This is really fun though. I love like getting on camera and chit chatting. Because I normally talk a lot anyway when I'm really excited about something. I'm, I'm actually really quiet. Well, I'm not really, really quiet. But I'm naturally shy. in person but once you start talking to me and I get passionate about something like there's no like you can't shut me up I, I have to talk <laughs> this is actually a really great like way to talk to you guys and build new friendships and relationships all right so I think we're done let's see what it looks like I know I look like an old granny right now <laughs> So hopefully this dries up really well. Um, I'm going to leave it out um, for about an hour or two. After I finish filming this part, I'm just going to go chill on the sofa and watch probably some more YouTube videos. But I'm going to air dry it, let it air dry, cover it with my scarf. Well, not this, but cover it with my scarf. And then in the morning, I'm going to take it out so that it can air dry some more because I don't want to use any heat at all in my hair. Um, and then I'm going to take it out, come back on camera. Yay! I'm so excited. Hey, 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 hey. All right. So if you're excited to keep watching, stay tuned. So I was just talking to this camera and didn't realize that it actually shut off on me as I was talking. <laughs> the moment I try to do a chit chat video. But anyways, um, yeah, I was talking about um, why I locked my hair. I locked my hair because I wanted low, like less manipulation, less stress, less hair, hair manage, you know, hair care management, whatever. And I was actually intrigued by the thought of having like getting like fake locks in but that was way before all of this like faux lock movement came about. I, I, I wanted to actually get some natural looking locks in. I was thinking about the idea but then I saw like all these girls popped up with faux locks everywhere and I'm telling you I have not seen many faux locks hairstyles that actually look like the real thing and sometimes when I see those styles I, I used to think like what do people with real locks think about this this must be really offensive <clears throat> but um yeah I thought to myself I wanted to do that but then I saw these girls pop up doing that so I said you know what why don't I just why don't I just do the real thing? Why do I need to resort to the fake and phony method? Why don't I just get this done the right way? Do it for real, for real. Because not, not, not many people are willing to go the permanent route. Everybody wants to do what's temporary and what's easy to them. But I've been thinking about locks for a long time. Since my mom started to put the, you know, install her locks, she's been locked for about five years. So that's when I said, you know what, I'll do it. I've been thinking about it for a while. I love how my hair feels when it's in two strand twists and braids. So why not just go ahead and get it done? My favorite part about being locked is the lock jewelry, I have to say. So yeah, that's pretty much where I got started. Um, locking my hair, why I'm locking my hair.
my inspiration for locking my hair. So, is it still recording? Oh, yes. Okay. So, yeah, I'm almost done. And I think that's another thing I was saying. I said that I really enjoyed this process of doing my hair right now because it's not taking very long at all. Whereas when I was loose natural, the same job would have taken like two to three hours for me to detangle and all the different details that go into styling hair. Gee whiz. So I'm so happy to be locked. And I'm excited to get this style together for New Year's. Yes, even though I'm not doing anything extraordinary, I'm so excited to have like my first like styling for my Lux. <clears throat> so I'm almost done. I'm just grabbing the last few pieces. Making sure there are no stray locks like this one right here. <laughs> Alright, so I got all of... Wow, I still have loose... Loose things going on here. What I'm going to do with this hairstyle is keep it in all day tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday, New Year's Eve. I'm going to keep it in all day and then I'm going to take it out in the evening right before going to church. Of course, I'm going to come on camera, show you guys the end result. And yeah. So this hairstyle is staying in for about 12 hours. About 12 hours. This is really fun though. I love like getting on camera and chit chatting because I normally talk a lot anyway when I'm really excited about something. I'm, I'm actually really quiet. Well, I'm not really, really quiet, but I'm naturally shy in person. But once you start talking to me and I get passionate about something, like there's no, like you can't shut me up. I, I have to talk. <laughs> so this is actually a really great like way to talk to you guys and build new friendships and relationships. All right, so I think we're done. Let's see what it looks like. So I know I look like an old granny right now. <laughs> so hopefully this dries up really well. Um, I'm going to leave it out. Um, for about an hour or two after I finish filming this part I'm just gonna go chill on the sofa and watch probably some more YouTube videos but I'm gonna air dry it let it air dry cover it with my scarf well not this but cover it with my scarf and then in the morning I'm gonna take it out so that it can air dry some more because I don't want to use any heat at all in my hair um, and then I'm going to take it out come back on camera Yay! I'm so excited! Hey, 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 hey. Alright, so if you're excited too, keep watching. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so I'm back. It is the next day. The time is about 2.45. I know I said that I was going to leave these in for 12 hours and take it out later tonight, but I'm actually about to leave soon. So I want to make sure to get this on camera for all of you guys. Um, yeah, so let's get started. I am going to use my coconut oil once again to take these down. And I guess I'll start from the back. Ooh, a curl. Ah. Ooh. Do you want to say hi to the camera while you're no, making I'm noise? I'm a hot mess. What? There we go. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm excited. And the thing I like about lots, when you curl your hair with lots, is it actually stays a lot longer, the curls, rather than like loose natural, oh, unlike lo loose naturals, I should say. Oh, so happy I'm curls. Almost done. This should take maybe two minutes to take out. Oh, y'all see that? Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna start curling my hair more often. I'm trying to be careful. I'm so excited that I'm almost yanking out my edges. No bueno. Wow. And I hear if you do, if you curl each individual lock, you'll get a different look. But I mostly combined three locks into one and, and set the curl in. I think the next time I try this, I'll try the individual lock um, curling method, which means I'm going to need about 104 hair curlers to make that possible. Now that I know how many locks I have, someone asked me and I had to go and count. Hey, hey, hey. I feel like little curly temples. Like I have curly fries on my head. All right, so this is how my hair looks without separating. And I'm really excited. What do you guys think? All right, so I didn't do the coconut thing yet. I'm gonna put this in my palm and now I'm going to mix it together and just pat it all over. And now I'm going to try, I wonder if I should keep it like this. This is actually cute. And then, hmm, I like it. <laughs> Just need some fixing. Mm, no, I'll separate it. All right, so I'm gonna separate each lock. Just so that it gets the full look. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow, this is really nice. All right, let me hurry this up. can't stop saying the same things. I'm in awe. This really came out nicely. This is so much different from when I was loose natural because when you take down your curls and you're loose natural, you have to be so careful not to do it the wrong way or you frizz out your entire look and then you have a head full of frizz. But this is so easy and it's so cute. All right, so I have this furry headpiece. Reminds me of my dog, Twinkie. <laughs> this looks like her leg. Um, but anyway, this is a headband that my mother made. I'm just gonna put it on my head. Alright, so this is the end 
product. And I guess I'm just gonna keep playing around with this front part so that I get the look that I want because it's kind of doing something weird. But yeah, this is the look, guys. So excited. I'm gonna give you guys a close up look. All right, so I'm so happy that I recorded this. I'm excited. And yeah, I think I'm gonna be doing this a whole lot more. What do you guys think? Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, yeah, but I'm really excited about this hair, so I'm just gonna play around with it and see, see what it looks like um, because I have not seen how it looks in the back right now. But yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.